coffee. <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> Rebecca, stop. Hello everybody, it's Kristen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the Q&A that I promised once I hit 200 subscribers. And I am just so happy. This has been such a wonderful experience. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who asked a question for this Q&A. You guys are so amazing and that I just love the booktube community. I can't believe now that I have 200 new bookish friends. It's so exciting. Without further ado, I'm just gonna get into this. My sister is off to the side and she's gonna be asking the questions. So here we go. Okay, go. Kelsey Lee reads as chocolate or vanilla. You're asking them so quietly. <laughs> uh, chocolate. Writer G Ash asks, what camera and editing software do you use? I use my phone and I just use iMovie on my Mac. JS, Jaya? J. -a? J. <laughs> asks, what do you do for a living? Pretty much I'm just a student, that's it. <laughs> um, in the summer I work. And right now I'm working as a receptionist at a chiropractic clinic, so that's pretty much it. Not very exciting. Shadow Reads asked, what's your favorite season of the year? Favorite season is fall. Um, <laughs> I just like that season because it gets starts getting cozy and you can get hot drinks and you can have mittens and scarves. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> Jen the Librarian asks, where have you worked in the past? I pretty much have just done this receptionist job for the past while. She also asks, what are three books you'd like to read by the end of summer? Three books I'd like to read by the end of the summer is Aqua War, so A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, which I am going to start today, ah! and then The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. Penny and Books asks, who are your role models? Um, I really only have one, and it's my mom. She's just super awesome. Just amazing. So yeah, I have to say my mom. Derby Lane Reading asks, what do you do for work? Oh, wow, a lot of work questions. <laughs> I'll be like, nothing. <laughs> I kind of already answered that, so. Derby Lane Reading asks, what is your favorite non-reading hobby? I would have to say music. I play the guitar and I sing. So I do that a lot and I really enjoy it. I would say I, that would be my non-reading hobby. Sprouty Gamer Reads asks, what book do you like that everyone hates? I know some books that I hate that everyone loved, but one that I love that everyone hates. I think I'll say the Akatar series by Sarah J. Mass. Um, it's been getting a lot of mixed reviews, but I'm one of the people that love it, so I'm gonna say that. She also asks, can you read in the car? Mm -hmm. It's a skill, I know. <laughs> and what genre do you avoid? I'd say I avoid contemporary. I don't pick it up very often, so. What is your most intimidating book on your TBR? Hmm. I feel like a classic would be a really intimidating book, especially like one of the bigger ones, like maybe like Anna Karenina or something. That would be, that's intimidating because it's big and classics are a little bit harder for me to get through. What is your favorite drink? Coffee. <laughs> the first chapter asks, what's your favorite flower? I don't really care much for flowers, <laughs> but um, maybe I would say baby's breath. Is that a dumb answer? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> the first chapter also asks, if you had a magical teleportation device, where would you travel to right now? If I had a magical teleportation device, I would go back to when I was a kid, and I would just... If, can you like observe yourself? It, like, I don't understand the science behind these, but if I could, I would go back to when I was a kid because I thought I was such an adult when I was little, so I think I would be really hilarious to watch. Happy Elephant Books asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years, I will be 32 and I want to be settled and happy. I would like to be able to do a lot of traveling, so I'd like to see that in my future. Georgina Reads asks, I'd like to know if you've told any other family members or friends about your channels yet. Uh, no, not yet. It's been on my mind a lot lately. It might happen soon. I don't know. A wandering mind asks, what is your top favorite place you'd love to visit? Top place I'd love to visit? I would say Italy. Anytime I hear stories of people who have gone to Italy, 
I just get so jealous. <laughs> so I would, yeah, I'll say Italy. Read a book asks a few questions. Number one, if you could make your library to look like any other library, including fictional ones, what would you want it to look like? Maybe the Beauty and the Beast library because it's a fairy tale and it's huge. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say the Beauty the and the Beast library. And it has the rolling ladders. Question number two, if you could live in any fictional towns or city, which one would you want to live in? I'm going to say the, I forget the name of it, but it's from this, the Circle Trilogy by Ted Decker. But that world is amazing. But I forget the town or the city or whatever it is. Question number three, if you could choose to have a special ability, what would it be? If I could have a special ability, I would want it to be something that I could like shoot from my hands <laughs> because I don't think I'd be good at all in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So if I could like fight from like a distance, I, that, that would be cool. Anything I can like shoot from far away. Maybe like archery, that would be, but even then, no, that's not a cool special. I want like a really cool special ability, like magic. <laughs> Portable Magic asks if your channel is still a secret. Nope. Girl yes, of... wait. Yes. <laughs> I lied. I was like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Girl about library asks, what kind of nurse do you want to be? I don't know yet. I really don't. I still have two years to figure things out. <laughs> Hopefully I figure it out by then. But yeah, I have no clue really. Sorry. Girl about library also asks, has your love for books and nursing ever collided? No. There hasn't been an instance where I felt like they've collided. I read a lot while in nursing school, but I don't think that's what you meant. <laughs> uh, so, no, not really. Beautiful Pages asks, what animal is your favorite? Is it way too generic to say dogs? I am such a dog person. But if I picked, <laughs> maybe another animal is uh, an elephant. Um, elephants are humongous in person, so, um, yeah, I would say elephant, they're really cool. Beautiful Pages. <laughs> Becky. Beautiful Pages asks, what is your favorite food and drink? Coffee. <laughs> stop laughing! And pasta, I really like pasta. Rebecca, stop. Sparky Loves Books asks, <laughs> no, no, no yeah, she asked a question. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you like tea? Yes, I do. <laughs> if you like tea, what's your favorite? Peppermint. Sparky Loves Books also asks, what's your favorite ice cream? Oh, what's my favorite what? Ice cream. Um, anything with peanut butter. Yes. Another question, what kinds of pets did you have as a kid? All dogs. We had a Oh no, we had fish that died real quick, and birds. We had little birds, but I didn't care for the birds. We've had a lot of dogs, though. Do you like love triangles in books? No, I don't. I just, if you're rooting for one character and it doesn't happen, then you're just upset, and I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of love triangles. A Court of Books and Pages asks, if you could travel to any place inside any fantasy book, where would you go and why? I feel like being in a fairy tale would be really cool. How can that be your answer when you've read A Court of Thorns and Roses? I don't know. <laughs> Katrina the Bookworm asks if you... Katarina, I think, uh, right? Yes. Katarina the Bookworm asks if you had to live in a fantasy world, what kind of power would you like to have? I said earlier I would like to like be able to like shoot things from my hands, or maybe like if I could like lift things with my mind. That would be really cool because then I could be so lazy. I also would like to fly because I'm not scared of heights at all, so I think flying would be really cool. The Bookish Land asks, do you plan to sleep in the upcoming 24 hours readathon? That's past, and I slept a lot, so. <laughs> Miss E. Reads asks, what's your favorite book to movie? Book to movie? Um, I would say Divergent. I think they did a really good job in the first one. The rest of them are ugh. Least favorite book to movie. <laughs> Maybe like Allegiant. <laughs> that sucked. So Sorry if you like that. I apologize, but I just didn't like it. Sylvia K asked a popular book that you dislike and why? 
I said this before, I think, in my I Dare You book tag, but I didn't like Graceling. I thought it wasn't done very well. I'll say that one. Literature Alive asks, number one, how do you work more literature into your life? I have set times that I like devote to reading. So whether it's right before I go to bed, I always read, or um, I take the bus for work and school, so I always read on the bus. Setting a designated time aside that you know you'll always read, whether it's take you take a bath or it's you know, you know car ride or bus ride or something, I find that helps me. Number two. Oh. I think that was just one question. Emily Nicholas asks. Why do you decide to become a nurse? I always knew I wanted to work in the healthcare field, and so I needed a bachelor's. Or, well, <laughs> I needed a bachelor's of science. My parents and I thought that doing a bachelor's of science in nursing would give me a career um, after the four years, and then if I wanted to continue on, I could. So that's how it all started. Boho Bookworm asks, "What makeup do you use?" Uh, what makeup I use? Um, so that was in the I need help video. I can put a list of all the products I used in the description box below, but that red lipstick, which is like the perfect red lipstick, was uh, by Smashbox. Second question by Boho oh. and Bookworm. The author you have read the most books from? That would be Francine Rivers. I have read, I don't know, like maybe 80% of her books, I'd say. She's one of my favorite authors, if not my favorite. Oh, there was one more question by Girl About Library, and it was, um, what type of dogs I have? And I have miniature schnauzers, so. All right, that is all the questions for the Q&A. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and comments and is just so wonderful. Give this video a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.